object when he grows up. He is going to commit sin. Whether Iris and Bo is not going to teach them how to commit sin. He will commit sin. That is the only time that when he learned that he is committing sin and then repented of that sin, that is the only time the Bible teaches us to be baptized. Because there is a symbol when baptism. Right? But what we do in the Bible, it says dedication. Because even the Lord Jesus Christ was dedicated when he was presented to the temple. The Bible tells us that he was presented to the temple. In the Old Testament days, the babies were also dedicated to the Lord. So what we're going to do is to challenge the parents today and the Ninos and the Ninas regarding the biblical dedication of a child. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, Train up a child on the way they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. Now, I reach both Ninos and Ninos. Most of you play a sport, right? <laughs> For those who play sport, we all know that training composed of many things. It's not, if you play basketball, it's not only running, right? It's not only shooting, it's not only dribbling. It starts from the very fundamental of the sports. From the, from the way you tie your shoe, the way you put on your socks, the way you run, the way you handle the ball, it's all called training. When the Bible tells us that train up a child from the way they should go, it is composed of physical and spiritual training. Physical and spiritual training. What does it mean, physical and spiritual training? First, let's go on the physical. The Bible tells us that the father and the mother has to become a good provider for their children. Right? Not only physically, not only for food. But physical also in the sense of guiding, giving wisdom, giving guidance, and then training Adric to grow up the right way. He would be needing advices when he grows up. Like if he becomes a teenager and would fall in love, he would not, he would ask advices from the father. It is only essential that God would be able to give him godly advice so that he would end up with a godly relationship. That, that responsibility is also transferred to the Ninos and Ninas. You know, because you are the second parent of the child. The Ninos, in the absence of both, you know, uh, Huwag naman, tayong tulog ng Panginoon, pero kung sakali, time comes, Bo is going to be called by the Lord to go home. The Ninos, the Ninos act as the second father of Bo. So we stand with the biblical teaching of train up a child on the way they should go. Spiritual training is teaching Andre on how to fall in love with God. Not only how to fall in love with God, but to know Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. And then to grow in His faith. That is not going to happen in the church. It happens in the home. You see, even if you bring kids to church every Sunday, I want us to understand this case. We only allow the church to help the kids at least for one hour or two. When we bring them to Sunday school or to church to worship. We don't expect that, that the church would be able to make an impact on the life of a child just for two hours in a week. It's not going to happen. If we want to make a spiritual impact on our children, it should start in the home. We should teach our children to be godly. Because the Bible tells us in Proverbs 22, 6, when they are old, they will not depart from it. There will come a time they will weigh work. There will come a time they're going to rebel. There is going to, there's going to be a time that they're, go, they're going to enjoy life outside the world. Because the peer pressure is very strong for all our young people. But the way we raise them, the Bible assures us that they are going to go back of the way we raise them. So in the absence of Irish Nina, 
That is also your responsibility. The question, do you accept those responsibilities for an You know, Janina, do you accept that responsibility? See, the moment you said yes, you are not promising that to Iris or to Bo or to me or to all of or to these people. You are promising that to God. Training your child is not only about gifts. You know, Nina, it's not about gifts, okay? Although they would appreciate gifts, I do believe that, right? If you believe, if you can give Adri today a thousand dollars, they're going to appreciate that, right? But that, it's not about the gift. Sometimes your presence is more important. Your word is more important. Your guidance is more important. But we have to understand that if we want Adri to become a God-fearing person, we have to be God-fearing as well. It should start from the parents. If we want to see Adri going to church to worship, the parents and the secondary parents, Adri has to see that to his parents. If we want him to serve God, we want to see the parents serving God. If we want him to become a worshiper, the parents have to become a worshiper. That's how training is all about. Training is actually showing what they have to do. Now, I remember my father, he said, when I was learning to wash the dishes, he always washed the dishes so I would be able to see how to wash dishes properly. My father, when he cooks, I always watch how he cooks. So I would be able to know how to cook well. And I think I achieved that. And it shows in my body. Right? Uh, <clears throat> Training is actually showing us an example. See, none of us parents would be able to ask our children to wash the dishes if they don't know how to wash the dishes. We can never tell our children to fix their room if our rooms are more dirty than them. We cannot tell our children to go and worship if the parents doesn't worship. We cannot tell our children to serve God if the parents doesn't serve God. We cannot tell our children to grow falling in love with God if the parents are not falling in love with God. I remember when I used to smoke, I used to smoke a lot of I'm a chain smoker. My father used to smoke as well. Actually, he died of COPD. For those of you who are nurses, you know what COPD is all about. It's chronic obstruction pulmonary disease because of smoking. I started smoking when I was in sixth grade. Sixth grade. But my father never prohibited me to smoke because he is smoking. So he could not tell me, don't smoke. I'm going to answer him, how come you're smoking? So I can smoke too. See, that's the principle of training. You won't be able to teach a young boy how to shoot a basketball if you really don't know the fundamentals of basketball. <coughs> if, if, if you don't know the fundamentals of life, what are we going to teach our children? See, if our children see us drinking all the time, believe me with this, our children is going to be a drunk or two. Because we are setting a pattern on how we live our lives. That's the way they're going to live their lives too. Whatever they see in us, that is part of our training. That is the reason why Bo Ivies, we have to be careful. We have to be careful of what we show Andrew. Nino's and Nina is the same thing. Right? So, we're going to pray for, for Adric today. We're going to dedicate him to the Lord. And can I ask the Nino's and the Nina's to go around the couples? <coughs> the couple. And, uh, can you extend your hand, please, on, on them? And we're going to pray for them. Can I, can I ask the congregation to please rise? And can you also please?
please extend your hand um, as we pray for the public. Father, we commit to you all my ideas and others. Lord, today we dedicate them to you, dedicate others to you, as much as we dedicate Bo and my to you. First and foremost, Lord, I pray for Bo that he would be able, Lord, to lead his family to grow spiritually in the world, to fall in love with God all the time, to serve God all the time. That Adi would be able to see in him how God fearing he is. I also pray for Iris to give her the wisdom, the spirit to support Bo in leading a home. I pray for it that she will continue to support whatever Bo will be able to do in her home to grow and to guide and to lead a family in Christ. Lord, I pray for Adi. I pray that. You bless him. I pray that you keep him safe. I pray Lord, that you send angels and angels to guard him at any time point so that he will always be safe. I pray for his provision. I pray that you provide for us anymore. I pray, Father, that when he grows up, he will come to know Jesus Christ as personal. Lord, I pray for the Ninos and the Ninas. They will become a good example to Adric as he has Adric to do in their relationship with the Ninos and Ninas. Lord, I pray that as they accept the challenge today, may it be true to their hearts and to their minds, be a good example to Adric. Thank you, Lord, for this boy. We know he's a blessing. And for the church, Lord, I pray for the people of the church that you use us, Lord, to, be, to become a good example to Adric, to help one another, to help Adric to grow the fear of the Lord, to train him the way you want us to train children in this church. So Lord, I lift up to you everyone. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.